making my life, and yours for that matter, easier. And what makes my life easier when I've got a crowd coming for supper is to buy something and then fiddle about with it and make it into something even better. I mean, I am more than happy to buy a couple of chocolate cakes for a trifle. Once they're covered with liqueur and fruits, no one will tell the difference. And although when I make a trifle, I am happy to buy the cake, I do like to make the custard. And right now, I fancy a chocolate custard, which is why I'm getting cocoa. I can't help thinking that whatever the question is, trifle is always the answer. And this one has a real edge, because at its base and heart is chocolate. I kind of base this trifle on that old favorite, the Black Forest Gatto, you know, which is just a dark chocolate and cherries. But the Black Forest Gatto is incredibly hard to make, and this is ludicrously easy, not least because you're only cooking one thing, which is a chocolate custard. Got about four ounces of bittersweet chocolate. Now I'm going to muster every bit of restraint in my being, though you can imagine how much that is, because all of this chocolate needs to go in my bowl over a pan of simmering water so that it will melt and then can be just poured into my custard later. So better get on with the custard. Got a cup and a third of heavy cream. That sounds promising to start with, doesn't it? And the same amount, a cup and a third of full fat milk. I mean, you didn't think I was going to say skim, did you? I've got six yolks here. I need another two. So I've got eight in all. But it's using all these yolks and no whites that makes the custard so satiny. It takes long to thicken, but it's worth it because the texture is so gorgeous and smooth. And into these lovely golden yolks, I'm going to add just over half a cup of sugar and a third of a cup of lovely dark cocoa. It's a lot there and that gives it real depth because cocoa is strong. And mix this together. Don't be alarmed about lumps, they will disappear later. Right, I'm ready to pour my lovely warm cream and milk mixture. Mm over this cocoa and yolk mixture and now this gorgeous chocolate has all but melted one stir should do it ah oh. and this has to be poured into the custard mm. don't say you wouldn't Now, at this stage, the custard looks like hot milkshake, and nothing wrong in that, I can tell you. But as I heat it and stir, it will thicken, and I will have the custard layer for my gorgeous chocolate cherry trifle. Now, this needs to be stirred for about 10 minutes or so, gently but insistently. Don't take your eyes off it. Just pour it back into a bowl and the custard will thicken further as it cools. And in order to prevent it getting a skin at the same time, I'm going to cover with a piece of cling, put it as if, in fact, a second skin on this now, and that's what will do the trick, and you won't lose a lot as you peel it off. Assembly is just a matter of moments. And now I'm just going to make some sandwiches out of some black cherry jam. So cut your chocolate cake. It's a little walk in the Black Forest here. Just dollop on the jam and spread about a generous half cupful of jam, I'd say. But go by eye. Now you'll see there's not a great uniformity of size in these sandwiches. Don't let it bother you. They'll all fuse and melt into one glorious base later. And now some cherry brandy, and this is real dark red cherry brandy, about half a cupful. Just soak the sponge with it. Mm. And I just need this jarful 
of sour cherries. If you don't want to use alcohol for whatever reason, you can use this lovely red syrup that the cherries have been steeped in. Look at these babies. In they go on top. That colour. Now, it's not a bad move to try and push a few to the outside because that's what you'll see as you layer up with the custard. There we are. Away with that and on with this. So this needs to go in the fridge now for a few hours, although you could do it a day ahead if that made your life easier. And then I'm going to whip some cream lightly so it's still soft and then decorate with some shards of dark chocolate. That's it. Next I'm making the cornbread topping for the chilli and it's going to be good.